Hi guys, this is Dal, my friend Becky. We're going to demonstrate how to fly high flying well safely and then also demonstrate a uh, lower version of high flying well, which we call low flying well, to train you guys um, the muscles necessary to keep that midline. So let's first demonstrate a possible fall. To get into high flying well, the flyer stands by my ears. I'm going to bring my feet pointing towards the lower back and receiving a weight and I'm going to kick up. Now keep in mind, uh, you could definitely fall on your head back this way, which is really bad. But more often than not, you're going to fall sideways. For a beginner basis, you'll find that your ability to keep that midline uh, will be very challenging. So a possible fall that I think is common is when the flyer starts falling to the right or left and then the base will naturally react by holding on to the flyer's feet really hard because they have this kind of moment where they freeze and they, 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 they're so scared to hurt the flyer that they just naturally hold on to them thinking that that's how they're protected. But in the act of, of holding on, you can actually hurt your flyer even more because you're taking away the very tools they have to land safely and in this case, bringing her feet down. So if she is falling, open support, try not to hold on, open support strong. If she's falling, bring your hands and arms lower them, especially with the feet, so the feet land down first before her torso falls on the ground. And now we're going to demonstrate low flying well, something that I recommend starting first before you do high flying well. Take it step by step. So we'll, we'll get into it the very same way. Um, we'll get into it from the well position. But this time, same thing, she'll stand by my ears. And instead of bringing my feet towards the lower back, I'm going to offer her the back of my uh, feet here. She's going to sit down and then my feet will slide back. Watch my hands, they're underneath her knees here. I'm ready to support her. Once my feet touch her upper back, she starts to lean back and then my feet and knees will slide lower towards her lower back this way. My feet are hooked around her shoulders for support and then my arms are up. She bends her knees so that I have a shelf to um, support her weight. Um, then my, the base's knees are underneath the flyer's back on the lower back like that. And then play around with what, what feels comfortable for the flyer. I find that when the knees are right above the sacrum bones or right on it, I feel is the best when you're pressing into it like that. Um, and from here, you can practice your abductor muscles by going left and right. And this is a much lower position to practice, so it's a safer way to practice those very necessary muscles to stabilize your fly and to, bring, to learn to bring them back into the middle, bring it, everything back into that midline where you're nice and centered. So it's a good exercise to do here. And also it feels really nice. Um, and it's also a good position to learn to fall out from because it's lower. Again, when you're falling out towards something, the flyer would try to roll into it and distribute the weight by bringing as much of the body on the ground as possible and not fight that fall, but to feel it to fall and then roll with that momentum of the fall versus like just freezing and just um, being caught like in the headlights. So another thing that you can do if you don't have a base readily available in your house right now just to get to yoga blocks and to place them on the high setting and then Becky here she can demonstrate how you can just lean, lay back into a high flying well position or in this case, a super low well position. And just to get that feeling of what it feels like to be on kind of wobbly feet like that and to, to feel a fall occurring and to practice just like reacting to the fall <laughs> and enjoying the fall and learning to know that falling is definitely a part of the process. And if you do it well, it can actually be half the fun. So until next time, guys, have fun and play safe.